Good day guys. So today we're going to solve this problem using parallelogram law. So let's read the problem first. The vertical force F acts downward at A on the two membered frame. Determine the magnitude of the two components of F directed along the axis of AB and AC. Set F is equals to 500 Newton. So our F which is right here is 500 Newton. Notice the arrangement of letter guys here. So AB is our force 1 and AC is our force 2. So F right here guys is our resultant force. And the arrangement of AB means that from the tip of A our force will be going to point B. So that is the direction of our force 1. And we will call that as our force AB. Next is force 2 or AC. The direction of that is from point A, we go to point C. So we can call that as our force AC. Now guys, let's plot this on our X and Y axis. So this is now our forces plotted on X and Y axis. This right here guys is our force AB and this one right here is our force AC. Notice the red line guys that is our F which is our resultant having a magnitude of 500 Newton. So guys in making the parallelogram we cannot plot uh, parallel lines of forces directed in this resultant because of our force AB as it is directed upward guys since this is in the state of equilibrium we can draw another forces guys opposite to the direction of our force AB and we can call that as negative force AB this also has the same magnitude guys of AB and has the same direction opposite to our force AB now that we have the forces guys we can now make the parallelogram so from the tip of our force AB or negative AB, we can draw a parallel line of our force AC. And from the tip of our force AC, we can draw a parallel line of force AB. So this is now our parallelogram guys. So let's determine the interior angles of our parallelogram since this angle right here guys is an alternate interior angles of this side then their angle is equal if this is 30 degrees then this is also 30 degrees and the sum of this angle is 90 degrees so 90 minus 30 this is angle right here is 60 degrees and since the angle right here is 45 with respect to vertical line then this must also be guys 45 degrees the same as this one and also guys the resultant line which is this red line guys divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles and also in my drawing it may seem like this triangle right here is not equal to this triangle because this one is bigger but rest assured guys that this the two of this is equal what is wrong right here is my drawing since this line right here is parallel to our force ac and then this is has also a magnitude of the same as our force ac this angle right here is alternate interior angles of our angle right here 60 so this is also 60 and our angle right here is alternate interior angle of our 45 so this must also be 45 degrees now guys we can use this triangle in solving for the magnitude of our forces guys so let's draw that one so this is now our triangle guys so what we're trying to do here guys is to get the magnitudes of our force AB and force AC we already have the magnitude of our resultant which is 500 newton now let's use the law of sine guys to determine its magnitudes 
looking at our angle guys we already have the two angles of our triangle and the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so let's subtract 45 and 60 to determine the remaining missing angle and that is 75 degrees so this angle right here is 75 degrees now let's use the law of sine guys so let's get first the value of the magnitude of our force AC let's use sine 45 degrees over the magnitude of force AC is equals to sine 75 degrees over the magnitude of our opposite side of our angle 75 is 500 so force AC is equals to 500 sine 45 over sine 75 degrees so the magnitude of force AC is equals to 366.025 newton so that is the magnitude of our force AC now let's get the magnitude of our force AB again let's use the law of sine so let's use the angle 60 since it this is the opposite angle of our side AB so sine 60 over our force AB is equals to sine 75 over 500 so force AB is equals to negative 500 sine 60 over sine 75 and that is negative 448.29 newton and remember guys that the magnitude of a force cannot be negative guys the only thing that defines its negative is its direction and when we get its final answer or the magnitude of a force we will be using its positive value but in using or in graphing the forces the negative sign is important also in an algebraic expression but when we go to our final answer in finding the magnitude of a force it will always be positive so this is now our magnitudes of the two forces guys